Summer Rachel's Southern Cooking. Today we're going to do banana pudding. Uh, I'm going to use two uh, small boxes of just regular vanilla pudding. If you can find the French vanilla, it makes a better flavor. But today I'm just using regular vanilla. So use two boxes. And just go by the directions on the box. You use uh, two cups per box, so that will be four cups. Four cups of milk. Just use your mixer on low speed until you get it to where it starts to thicken some. And you won't, when you're mixing your pudding, just make sure you have a high bowl because sometimes this mixer, the mixers will make it splash out. So if you have a higher bowl, it will splash out. Once it starts thickening up, then you can turn your mixer up a little bit. Just a little at a time. All puddings is a little bit of different style brands. Sometimes some will get a little bit stiffer quicker than others. Okay, I'm gonna let that set just a little bit and let it thicken up some. And while it's a thickening up, I'm going to get my bowl ready. You can put it in anything you want to. Um, I'm just putting it on a glass dish. Pour the cookies out. You can uh, fix them out to where they're more even in your bowl. If you've got a, a, a glass dish, something like this, it just makes it a little prettier. Anytime if you're, you're taking anything like this to a potluck or something, or you can always put it in a, make a bigger quantity, just use more pudding. Just double up on your ingredients. So I've got one layer of cookies, and I'm going to put bananas on top of it. It'll probably take two bananas. And I like to get my bananas that's a little green. Because uh, the firmer your bananas, the better lasting your banana pudding will do. They won't turn as brown as quick. Check my pudding. Okay, it's thickening up. Now, uh, now I put uh, in my banana pudding, I put uh, a container, the small container, I think it's eight ounces of Cool Whip. and a cup of sour cream. If you want to do this on, in a lighter dish, you can always use the fat-free, uh, fat sugar-free uh, pudding mix and the light sour cream and then the, uh, the lower fat. 
I won't go fat free on the Cool Whip, but I would go light if I was trying to do um, calorie wise or if you have sugar or something or like that. And just mix all that up. The sour cream in it gives it a real good flavor. Now pour your layer in your bowl. And I'm sort of pushing it down in with the cookies and the bananas. Add just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to put another layer of cookies. This time I'm just going to sort of just lay them in. You don't have to worry about how they lay. I'm just, I guess, a little pet peeve. I like for the tops to stand up. But the banana pudding is a is a real southern favorite a lot of people likes. You could add a little bit of toasted coconut to it. Um, if you like coconut or you could even make a meringue if you wanted to to put on the top. I'm going to put three in this layer for the layers. It's a bigger. And I'm going to save one banana to go on the top. Pour the rest of your pudding. It makes a pretty dish. And just uh, just decorate a little bit. Put some cookies on top.
You can place them any way you want to. Use the rest of this. Stick it wherever. It's a quick, easy little dessert to make, and it's fairly healthy if you count the bananas. There you go. Southern banana pudding. Thank you all. And uh, remember to like and subscribe and to share it. And thank you all for tuning in. And God bless you.